Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm just going to be doing a short inorganic preparation of sodium perborate. We only need three reagents to make sodium perborate, those being 30 milliliters of 35% hydrogen peroxide, 5 grams of sodium hydroxide, and 24 grams of sodium tetraborate. Now what I'm going to do is dissolve the borax and sodium hydroxide in 150 milliliters of warm water. Alright, that's all the borax. Now I'm just going to wait for it to dissolve, and if it doesn't dissolve, I'm just going to uh, probably either turn on the heat to uh, medium on the hot plate, or I'm just going to pop it in the microwave for a little bit to uh, get the solution warm enough so that everything is dissolved. Okay, so it doesn't really want to clear up, it seems, so I'm just going to uh, do a quick gravity filtration. Alright, now that everything has dissolved and we have a clear solution, I'm going to turn on the stirring and slowly add some ice-cold hydrogen peroxide. Again, I have 30 milliliters of the 35% grade. Once everything is dissolved, I'm going to let it stir for a further 5 or 10 minutes and then put this in the freezer for at least a few hours, if not overnight. Okay, all the peroxide has been added. Now all I have to do is let this stir and react for a few minutes, and then I'm going to cool it down in the refrigerator. So now all I'm left with is this large crystalline mass at the bottom of the beaker, which has a really interesting look to it. It almost looks like packed down snow, or those things that you see on those ski hills. I think they call them moguls, like sort of those lumps. Pretty interesting looking. Anyway, all I have to do now is take this out of the beaker, uh, basically just decant off the liquid, and then filter the crystals and then dry them. Okay, here's the sodium perborate I got. It is roughly 20 grams of a white free-flowing crystalline powder. Okay, another quick inorganic preparation, this time barium peroxide. So what we're going to need is some potassium hydroxide, and we're also going to need a source of barium. In my case, barium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Barium nitrate. Ah! You'll also need some concentrated hydrogen peroxide. Here I'm just using 35%, about 100 milliliters. Probably way more than I need, but, you know, whatever. First, going to measure out about 150 mils of distilled water. And then to that, with stirring, I'm going to add a few scoops of solid barium nitrate. And I will dissolve this with stirring. This might take a little while and may require a small amount of additional heating. Next, when most everything is dissolved, add a roughly equal amount of potassium or sodium hydroxide. It doesn't really matter, it just should be a hydroxide. I'm just using potassium hydroxide here. Okay, that's not going to be enough, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to break out the big bottle. Now, I made the executive decision to put this in the microwave to uh, speed up 
the dissolution of all solids, but at the same time that means that the solution is really hot now. So, of course with peroxides, heat decomposes them and, you know, using a hot solution like this will lower your yield. So I just recommend that you use more water and uh, keep this around room temperature as much as possible. But uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, use this as is uh, while it's hot just so, uh, you know, in the interest of time. So I'm going to add the 35% hydrogen peroxide very slowly um, until no more solid barium peroxide is, you know, seen upon addition of, you know, hydrogen peroxide. So like you probably heard me just say, um, upon addition of the peroxide, we're going to get a precipitate of barium peroxide and say um, pretty dense white uh, slash off-white precipitate. Um, usually it is white, uh, but when it dries it tends to take on a slightly tan color. As it's formed it should look pretty white, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. Actually, let me get a uh, better angle for y'all. So what I'm going to do now is uh, let it stir for about 30 more seconds and then I'm going to uh, let a nice layer of the uh, supernatant settle on top so I can uh, pour in any peroxide and see if any further solid is produced from the uh, clear liquid. You may be able to hear that fizzing sound, of course that is some of the peroxide decomposing due to the uh, heat of the solution. So that will lower our yield somewhat. So if you really do care about your yield and not just making the you know, material, then uh, I suggest you just use more water, like I said earlier, and not do it at such a high temperature like I did. And there we have it, some nice, dry, slightly off-white barium peroxide. Thanks for watching.